What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. And before I get into the video, make sure that you guys absolutely positively subscribe to my channel right now. And if you don't have your post notifications on, turn them on for me so you can be notified every single time I post a video for you guys. Today I'm going to be bringing you a refreshing curls video. So a lot of you guys, or some, I'm not gonna say a lot, but um, some of you guys do ask me how do I preserve my wash and go. So if you don't know, when I do wear my wash and go, I typically will let it last seven days. And I know that some people can't go past three or four days, I can. And a lot of you guys wanna know what I do to preserve my curls. So first thing is first, I have to sleep with a satin bonnet scarf. It is very important how you sleep on your hair will dictate how long your curls are going to last throughout the week. So if you are sleeping on your hair, if you are constantly in your hair, I mean, it, you're, you're creating more frizz than needs to be. So if you honestly sleep with a satin bonnet or satin pillowcase or a satin scarf, that will help to tame the frizz down. Now naturally, I have 3C, 4A type hair, so my hair naturally throughout the days gets bigger and bigger over time. It gets frizzier and frizzier over time. Plus, I do live in Ohio and Lord knows the weather here is just so unpredictable. One minute it's snowing, the next it's raining and humid, the next it's sunny and hot outside. So my hair just kind of goes with the flow. But sleeping with a satin bonnet helps to keep the frizz at bay, keep your curls tight and defined where there's no friction being applied to make your hair very messy, dry, and brittle. So that's my first tip. The second tip is you can also use products to help refresh your curls throughout the week to help your wash and go last. So typically I will not usually put any products in my hair for my wash and goes throughout the seven days, but I have partnered with John Freda. So guys, I have no clue where I got John Freda from. It's John Freda, so please ignore my wrong pronunciation. I'm looking back at me editing and was jacking the name all the way up and was having a the moment so it is john frida and not john freda to check out their the day two revival curl collection which i am very excited to try um it comes with four products so i will go ahead and get right into the video all right so i am just going in with the day two revival curl reset spray and this is supposed to help reactivate your curls and it also has um okay another duh moment so this is not pronounced okay <laughs> this is pronounced acai and avocado dry oil infused in it and once you spray this it is supposed to help lock back in that moisture that you possibly lost as well as um, increase the softness of your hair and eliminate the frizz So you'll see in this frame that I am just spraying the spray all over. However, you actually want to concentrate this more on the areas that have frizz spots. So if your whole entire hair is frizzy, then you'll want to put this on your whole entire hair. But if you only have certain spots of your head where you have frizz and it's just dry and it's kind of brittle, then that's where you'll kind of want to spray this curl setting spray to help activate those curls again and to defrizz your hair. So you really want to look for frizz spots in your hair to spray this on. Any area of your hair where it's really frizzy, where your curls have kind of unwinded or they just aren't defined, this Day 2 Revival Curl Setting Spray helps to define your curls again. So I didn't have a lot of frizz areas as of yet. However, the front part of my hair was a little frizzy. So I kind of concentrated this more on the front parts of my hair. But if you have a lot of frizz, you'll definitely want to spray a lot of this on your hair. So my hair is pretty damp from spraying the curl setting spray. You can either let your hair air dry or you can go ahead and diffuse it. So I'm going to go ahead and just diffuse it a little bit because I kind of want bigger hair. Um, but you can feel free to absolutely air dry your hair. So 
So lastly, I'm going to go in with the Day 2 Revival Smoothing Dry Oil. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my hair. And this is just kind of to set it. So this is really going to help to tame your frizz, help to tame your flyaways. And honestly, have your hair just shining and it smells amazing. There's only two products that I didn't try out of this whole entire collection and that is the John Frieda Day 2 Revival Dry Shampoo simply because my hair wasn't dirty so I don't need to use this yet. But if you're someone who suffers from really uh, dirty hair very quickly, then you can absolutely use that. And the second product is the Day 2 Revival Wave Refresh Spray. Um, this is for more looser type curls, more two uh, two type curls. Clearly I have more coily type hair so that's the only reason why I didn't use this spray and use the other the other curl setting spray. Um, so if you have more looser type curls or wavy type curls this is what you'll want to try. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just a really quick refresh video for you guys. Alright guys so make sure that you absolutely wrap your hair at night and if you need some help kind of giving a boost to your curls I do encourage you guys to try the Day 2 Revival curl collection um, you can get it on Amazon I will have the links in the descriptions for all of the products as well as the pricing for them just make sure that you tune in subscribe and put on your post notifications bye guys